Thank you. Each time I come out, I'm well aware that the applause is for Roger, so I brought him out today so he could hear it. And actually, what we did is we had some special cards made for Ebert Fest at, at Roger's funeral service, uh, not the memorial tribute, but his funeral service at Holy Name Cathedral. We had prayer cards made. And we thought about Holy Name Cathedral, the church, the religious institution, and we thought of Roger's other religious institution, the Virginia Theater. So we had special cards made, and we have them in the back, and they just a, a little thing in memoriam. The back has four different nature scenes, so actually one scene per card. And then we have his uh, saying that meant so much to us and to him, we must try to contribute joy to the world. That is true no matter what our problems, our health, our circumstances. We must try. I didn't always know this, and I'm happy I lived long enough to find it out. That's from Life Itself, Roger's memoir. So. The, because we are so, I am so rooted right now in the present, uh, because of what's happening, and we talk about things in the future and continuations, I'm, I'm going to stay pretty much firmly in the present. Um, but I do want you to know that one of the things that we discussed about the film festival, and this is because Roger knew that if his health didn't allow him to come next year, he actually did planning for some movies, and one of the things that I wanted to do that he also wanted to do is have more 70 millimeter. So we used to start the festival with the 70 millimeter, but we have the, if we have the capacity to continue to do 70 millimeter, why not do more than one 70 millimeter film during the festival? <laughs> so that's one of the things that we're planning. We also, as you know, a lot of uh, film is going from the 35 millimeter format to digital. And digital has, you know, for years Roger fought against digital, but the digital technology actually has improved so much that he said, oh, okay, you know, <laughs> you have to accept some digital too. But at the film festival, we still want to try to get as many 35 millimeter prints as possible and next year, so we may have more 70 millimeter and more 35 millimeter prints as well. Because some of the things that we've shown here, uh, it's so beautiful on this big screen here at the Virginia Theater. And some of the, we were able to get some prints that are so pristine. Uh, uh, and, and we don't know how long, how many more years you'll be able to, to get things like this. Uh, Martin Scorsese and some of the others are doing things in film preservation, but we just want to make sure that while we can do this, we, we continue to do it and we continue to show them. So next year, we would have more 70 millimeter and more 35 millimeter prints. Um, and, and one other thing as far as uh, digital or, or, or websites, You've seen, I know that some of you have been buying the iPad app that those great guys from Shattered Glass, uh, Luke Boyce and uh, Luke and Brett Hayes, they're great guys that they put together for the Ebert Fest. And we also, um, so I want you to continue to buy those for your iPad. And also, Roger wanted to make sure that you knew a little bit more about RogerEbert.com. We're going to bring Josh Golden out to talk for about a minute. So welcome, Josh Golden. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Josh Golden. As Chaz mentioned, I am the, uh, one of the co-founders and now the managing director of Ebert Digital, which is the uh, new Ebert-powered business focused on uh, developing and maximizing the Ebert archive and the way of doing 
the Ebert business that Roger and Jazz have done for all these years. Uh, it's been quite the honor and quite the undertaking to try to make a house for uh, the, the content of Roger that doesn't detract from the content of Roger. And uh, there's a lot of very exacting fans uh, on the internet and in this room who uh, uh, have had lots of thoughts on the process. Um, uh, and we really appreciate that because uh, it's allowed us to uh, create something that um, we're really proud of. But most importantly, Roger was super proud of it. On April 1st, I had uh, the last meeting I had the opportunity to have with Roger to uh, review the final product with him. And he was just ecstatic about it. And he was so involved in the process from start to finish. You're really seeing something that was, that was his. So, you know, come on and check it out. Uh, we've uh, brought all the reviews into a way that they're much more searchable, easy to find. You can, for the first time ever, quickly and easily see, oh, what are the three-star horror movies that Roger Ebert liked from the 1980s, or things like that, sort of unique kind of strange questions. You can also see that he was remarkably consistent over the years, uh, an average rating of about 3.8 zero five stars or something to that effect of the movies he reviewed. So just really interesting things you've never been able to see before. Um, so check it out, uh, look at the great movies, enjoy the site or on your phone, it's optimized for that as well. Don't hesitate to send us feedback if we're missing things or things that you want to see. Uh, and look for continued interesting content, um, both being developed by our new team, but also very excitingly, we continue to dig out old Roger reviews that have never been online. Uh, one just went out uh, today or yesterday, actually, for this Ricky J documentary. So there's continuing to be little tidbits from Roger showing up over time, and we'll try to call your attention to those. So anyway, uh, thank you for your support. Uh, if you have more questions or whatever, come find me. I'm around and uh, enjoy the site and uh, the rest of the uh, festivities here. Thanks. And now for a movie. Oh, he's taller. I think he moved this. <laughs> OK. And now for a movie I'm really looking forward to seeing, because Roger really flipped for this movie, uh, Oslo, August 31st. And you, this is, you know, like I said, you must get the program this year. I've been reading it like almost word for word, the reviews, the, you know, some years you, you kind of flip through it quickly. This year, maybe because of circumstances, I've been paying particular attention to it. And there's just so much in there. And I really love, you know, I used to say that Roger's writing made me swoon. It really, really did. His writing is so beautiful and so poetic and um, just, and, and he, he sees things, he, he sees the life in between the life, the lines, the words in between the words. And uh, this movie that we're going to see is one of those, and, and I invite you to read his review of it. But now I have the pleasure of introducing the filmmaker, uh, Joaquin Trier, who started filmmaking in 1995, writing and directing several short films. He had his feature film debut in 2006 with Reprise, which has received a number of international awards. His second feature, Oslo, August 31st, enjoyed equally great success. Most recently, a prestigious French César nomination for Best Foreign Film in 2013. And I have the pleasure, because we brought him in from Norway, please welcome Joachim Trier. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all very much for coming here this evening. Uh, let me start by thanking Ebertfest for inviting me. Um, this is a great honor, uh, especially because it, it's Roger Ebert's film festival, a man whose wise and insightful words on cinema has resonated all the way to Norway, where I grew up. Um, which brings us to the film we're about to see. I, I always find it hard to talk about my work ahead of the film being screened, because you spend years and years trying to develop something who you feel 
or hope will resonate through the image and sound the way you make it. And I'm always worried that I'll say something that'll, you know, somehow disturb the balance I hope we found with this one. But let me say that it's a, it's a personal film. It's a film about the town where I grew up. Um, and it's made with a group of people who I feel in different ways shared uh, their experiences in, in the making of it, which makes me as a director in the middle of all of that big group very grateful. I hope somehow we made something that resonates also here. Um, I'm very curious to hear your thoughts afterwards. I'll be back to, to listen to any comments or, or answer any questions you might have. Um, and let me just, before I leave it, wow, this is a very nice cinema, by the way. This is, <laughs> I'm standing here talking, and I'm, I, I'm just struck by it. So yeah, I'm thrilled to be here. Thank you all for coming, and I see you after the screening. Hope you enjoy. <laughs>